Hey guys, what's up? Popus Dragon here with another video. Today we got an opening on the Kaiba's Collector Box. So, uh, here's a little look over of it for you guys. Doesn't look too bad. You get your promo blue eyes. You get a giant blue eyes, which is pretty cool. And there's the back. If you want to see that. Mass of the most legendary dragons. Hopefully this one is a little better than the uh, Yugi one from that one were a little uh, crappy but we'll see what we can get out of here the box is still really cool for me so I'll probably keep that it's a nice little collector time Starter deck. Put the starter deck hyper reloaded. Um, go over the back of it. See all the different cards in it. Which I'll also open it up for you guys. Uh, then we got our promo blue eyes. Not bad looking. The one with the uh, Legend Blue Eyes original art from it. So, happy with that. And um, then we get our promo giant blue eyes. Which is really awesome. I uh, wish they did make these hollows, but um, still, it's alright. OCG's got hollow ones, maybe someday we'll get some. And then we got our packs, so we still got three Kaibas and three Yugi's, just like the other one. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack this open. So just like the Yugi ones, you get a ultimate rare in this one as well, but you get the ultimate rare, uh... Blue eyes. Which I wish they'd do more uh, ultimate rares than stars or structures. I really am a fan of ultimate rares. Too bad we don't get them except for in uh, special packs now. Okay. So uh, you get the same thing as the other one. You get your dual field, your guide, and um, sorry, deck Kaiba are the things they recommend for you to buy. <laughs> we'll set that aside and get into the deck. Again, they went with the tablet art for the ultimate rare, just like in the Dark Edition one. Not the biggest fan of that, but um, it does look good as an ultimate, though. I, I do like ultimate rares, so it's not bad. Let's set that up there, and then we'll go for the rest of it. Again, you get some decent stuff in this as well, just some old reprints, some good nostalgia, some decent vanilla beaters, um, a lot of stuff used by Kaiba. Just good deck for one that's starting out the game or it's on something fun to play. So go for everything. Dark Hole is not too bad. MST is decent. Um, yeah. Sound of Doom, if you're using a lot of normals, can be alright. Threatening Roar, I guess, is another alright card. Yeah, like I said, they're not the most competitive, but uh, if you're just playing for fun or with friends or something, it's something to do. So we'll start off with the Yugi pack this time, since we started off with Kai the last time. Hopefully, we can get something in this one. So we got a Dark Magician, for the first one. A Monster Reborn. Be funny if that card came back. This was a really good card back in the day. <laughs> Alright, last one for Yugi's. See if maybe we can get a hollow. Nope. Got a card of sanity. So there's that. On to the Kaibas. Hopefully, we get at least one hollow. Probably an ultimate rare. White Stone of Legend, nice. Okay, we got a hollow from the Kaiba, so this is already better. So, that's not too bad. White Stone of Legends, decent card to get. I uh, one in my blue eyes deck, but if you're doing some kind of different version, you might run multiples. 
Okay, second pack. Got a Kaiser Seahorse. Okay, last pack. See what we can get out of here. And just a Powers of White Dragon. Well, at least the uh, Kyber's one gave us one hollow, so we'll go over the hollows here. And I guess for his. <laughs> So we got our Blue Eyes White Dragon from it, our Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes, uh, White Stone of Legend, and then we got these rares. And then, of course, our Giant Blue Eyes, which is pretty cool. But anyways, guys, there was uh, the opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all later.